We are gathered here to fill you with fear and give you a treat for your ears as we invade your mind with our scary rhymes and some tales that can be gory. As you bear witness and sit here and listen to our poetic horror stories. Hello, this is a ghost story, and I want to protect my identity, so I won't be giving my name. Please don't judge me too hard, because in this story I made some questionable choices. So this is an anonymous post. I thought I killed a family today, when I accidentally ran them off the road. I didn't notice them when I was switching lanes. This took place at night, and this road is really dark. I didn't see them until it was too late. I ended up stopping abruptly, breaking hard in the middle of the road. But there was nothing I could do, as I watched them from my rear view window. They ran straight into a telephone pole. I immediately jumped out of my car and ran towards their car to see if I could give aid. Suddenly, I stopped short and before I made it to their car. And here is one of the questionable choices. I know this was wrong, but I was afraid because I didn't want them to see my face. So I got back into my car and I left the scene. I drove off. Look, I'm a YouTuber and I can't afford to be blamed. I would lose everything. I promise you, I feel bad about this decision. No, I really do. Believe me, I'm ashamed. But it's too late. This is the decision I have to live with. This is the choice that I've made. I wondered, why didn't I see them? Is the question I keep asking myself over and over in my head. I remember before I moved over, I checked the mirror on my passenger side. This, I swear. They had to be in a blind spot next to my car. This is the only conclusion I could think of. But once they saw me moving into their lane, why didn't they honk their horn? They could have given me a signal. I'm starting to feel this car accident wasn't all my fault. This is just a friendly reminder to please like and comment to let us know how we are doing so far. We would love to hear from you all. And if you're new, please subscribe and become a part of the PHS crew. And we thank you. I thought. There was no way they didn't see me merging into their lane. I mean, I don't want to victim shame, but they have to take some accountability for this accident. I feel they share some part of the blame. Man, I couldn't believe I was in this situation. I really do have so much to lose. Like I mentioned before, I'm a content creator on YouTube and I have a large following my videos received millions of views. I was there checking out an urban legend of the ghost car that supposedly just appears out of nowhere. I was creating a video about the ghost car legend to prove or debunk if it's fake or real. That's when it hit me. That was the ghost car. It is real. That's why I didn't see them on my side. Even though I was distracted because I was driving and recording at the time. I should watch back my video to see where they came from. But if that is the ghost's car, would it even show up in the video? Huh? The car is in my video. So that proves they aren't ghosts. The video shows that they merge from a side road that I didn't notice. Oh my god. 
This is my fault. I was so preoccupied at the time with trying to record my video, I really thought I was on that road alone. This is horrible. The worst scenario. This is questionable choice number two. I thought, shit, what should I do? I need to get rid of this video. It is overwhelming evidence that I ran them off the road. It's solid proof. This would end my whole YouTube career. But on second thought, I would hate to get rid of this footage. I could still use this video to prove the urban legend of the ghost car is true. I just need to edit the footage to only show the car and make it look as if it was chasing me. It would be spooky, scary, and exciting. Damn it. But I didn't have any footage of my reaction. And here is questionable choice number three. I needed to go back to the scene. I needed my scared reaction of the chase to make the video complete. I thought, do I really want to risk it? It's a good chance that the police may be investigating the scene. And I know this sounds morbid and creepy, but I needed this footage to complete my video. I have to go. So far, I haven't seen this accident on the news. Maybe the incident had not been reported. I decided to go back on the road around 3 a.m. to see if the police had started their investigation of the scene. And if they haven't, after I recorded my footage of the road and my reaction, then I would call 911 to report that I found the car off the side of the road and that they ran into a telephone pole. Okay, I've made up my mind. I was going back to the scene of the crime. When I arrived, the car was still there. I don't believe the police came over to check. I took out my camera to start recording my video. I assumed it was just me alone on this long, dark road. I was sitting in my car, when all of a sudden, lights flooded the inside of my car, making it bright. It scared the living hell out of me, because I wasn't expecting anyone to be here at this time of night. Suddenly, the car, with its high beams on, came barreling towards my car really fast. It didn't show any signs of stopping. It was going to hit me from the back. So I threw my car into drive, and I pressed down hard on the gas. The car chased me down the road as I screamed. It was almost like we were racing. It was crazy. It was flashing its high beams on and off, loudly honking its horn. The car was trying to run me off the road. It kept coming up on my passenger side. Every time I turned my head, it was driving in my blind spot. I was terrified. I knew for sure I was going to die. Suddenly, the car sped up, ending up in front of me and cutting me off. I had no choice but to stop short. My heart was beating out of my chest. I was sweating, panting. I was short of breath. Then the car turned around to face my car. Then it started moving towards me. It was coming at me in a charge. It was playing a game of chicken with me. I quickly put my car in reverse to drive off. But my car stalled. It just won't go. I was so afraid I pissed myself. As the car sped closer to send me to hell, it was only inches away from me. When suddenly, it just disappeared. I was on the dark road alone again. I just sat there in shock. I could hear my heart pounding in my ears. As my eyes filled with tears, I looked over at the time. It was now six o'clock. I could see the sun now starting to rise. I got myself together and I started to drive. I drove back to the scene of the accident. And in the morning light, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. There was no car there. No signs of any accident. It had all disappeared. It was gone. I thought to myself, what the hell? I'm not crazy. Last night I saw a car and it hit the telephone pole. And it took place on this very road. I got out of my car and looked around the telephone pole. 
but there wasn't anything that showed a car accident. No broken glass, no blood, no car parts, just nothing. It looked like nothing ever happened. So I went back to my car and quietly drove myself home. When I finally settled down, that's when I decided to pull out my camera and watch back on my video. But to my dismay, there was nothing recorded. There were only images of me on the video alone. I looked like a fool reacting to nothing. There was no other car captured. It was only me. Me recording the road. Me getting out of my car. Me walking towards the pole. Me screaming in my car like a madman. Me driving fast, crazy, reckless, just looking back scared. And me, in the end, sitting in my car, frozen in a dead stare. I know this all sounds made up to you. Just another YouTuber making up a story for a video. But I promise you this happened to me. The urban legend of the ghost car is true. I just wish I could show you concrete proof.